Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Bonnet Creek and we are going to be doing a progressive dining experience. We're going to be hopping around to different resorts here, sampling some amazing cocktails and food from the restaurants and lounges. And because this is a special dining event with a strict dress code, sorry friends, no hat for this video. Anywho, let's go do this. This is the event that we are going to be attending tonight and as you can see in the book we are going to be stopping at some pretty amazing restaurants including Bull and Bear which is one that I've always wanted to actually go to. Right now we're starting off the night at the Hilton and then we're going to make our way around to the Waldorf Astoria and all the other lounges and restaurants that they have to offer here sampling some of its best. I believe it's going to be seven different stops in between two different resorts and we're about to actually go into our first stop at Le Luce right here at the Hilton and I am so excited like I said most of these places I've never been to before. This is event for food and wine season this year. It is something that we have been wanting to do for years and years and years. I worked here since 2011 and it's been talked about for a very long time so it's finally come to fruition you're the first to try it so thank you so much for being here. Um, it is every Friday and Saturday night <laughs> as you've seen before the event starts off with a nice cheers and now we're actually going to head right on in look at this it's so beautiful in here and elegant the first thing that we're going to be trying is the speck wrapped figs and i'm going to be honest i've never had figs before so this is definitely going to be an experience they look pretty good kind of looks like a chestnut <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a chestnut, but I'm excited to try it. Wow. It don't taste like a chestnut. It's very, very delicious, actually. Wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> the best way I can describe it is like a grape, uh, like a savory grape. So, so good. And now I'm going to get a little bit of everything all together and one big bite. A lot of this stuff I've never eaten before so it's definitely an experience for me and this being the first thing and I actually do like it kind of builds up some confidence for the rest of the night I mean of course I'm gonna love like certain items like the short rib uh, Wellington from Bull and Bear but a lot of this stuff is uh, like I said it's a unique experience that I would never do unless I came and did this event so cheers to a win so far the next thing on the menu is gonna be the gnocchi verda and it's funny because this is in a gnocchi like you would think it's not a potato gnocchi it's actually all made of cheese and if you guys don't know uh, I'm not really fond of cheese now I do like some cheese but this is gonna be something I am really concerned with trying but I'm gonna try it because you, you only live once so I'm gonna dive right in here I'm gonna take off a piece right here and also i'm pretty sure it's got truffle oil in there so it's basically just cheese and butter and truffle oil oh and also mushroom i got this beautiful sunset actually coming in here and i'm about to try something that i'm a little strange and worried about so this might be very beautiful or maybe it won't i don't know yeah i mean it's 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 it, it i can see how it could be delicious it could be delicious to sell a lot of people, but uh, I, I um, it's not my thing. <laughs> I do think it actually looks really well together. I might try this actually on its own, but I'm pretty sure that's just fried cheese as well. That's a <laughs> <laughs> it is, right? It's a Parmesan crisp. It's a Parmesan crisp. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll stick to the figs. Now it's time to move along to our next stop. So basically, we came in here. We had some very nice wine and also two samplings. The fig was probably my favorite. I wasn't a big fan of the gnocchi with the uh, ricotta because like I said, I'm not big on cheese, but I still think it's a really cool experience. Next stop takes us right down to Zeta Asia, and this is still inside the hill, and this is the second signature restaurant, and I just like the way it looks inside here. Everything looks so elegant and very clean, and I'm excited to try some more food. 
once we're actually in Zeta Asia, we're going to be able to try a couple of different things. First thing is going to be a spider roll, and it's going to be a crispy soft shell crab with avocado, cucumber, and masago. And then we're also going to do a bao bun, a duck bao bun, which I just tried for the first time and I loved it. And this one's going to be served with plum sauce. So these are going to be a little bit more things that I'm kind of uh, not so adventurous about because I've had them before. But before uh, at Laleish, it was very adventurous for me, especially trying the uh, fig, and I ended up liking it. So you never know what will happen. Here is the spider roll, and before I was actually calling it a scorpion roll, but it's a spider roll, and it kind of looks like a spider and a scorpion at the same time, so that's probably why you can see a little confusion there, but I am very excited to try this, and I'm very excited to try that right there. Look at that duck. It looks so perfectly tender, and plus we've got some nice pickled vegetables, and this is going to be an experience. I'm not the biggest fan of raw sushi, and this is actually a fried crab. Well, it's fried sushi, so I'm actually going to like this a lot. And I like the way it's kind of like hovering like this. Doesn't that look really fancy? And you can see why I uh, thought it was a scorpion, like a scorpion roll, because it's got a little like scorpion thing there. But I'm excited to try it. I'm just going to, I don't know, maybe bite it from the top? I don't know how to approach it. Hmm? Yeah. That's how you gotta do it. <laughs> it's like a floating sushi. <laughs> I like it. Seriously, that is such good crab. Nice soft shell crab. I was a little nervous when I was biting into it, but I like it. It's got avocado, and now I think I'm gonna jump right to the duck bao bun because this is where it's at. This is the good stuff, I say. There we go. Ooh, and I like this song too. It's like fitting. Not really, but anyway, <laughs> the duck bell bun I love. You know it's good food when you save the last bite. When you put it back down, just so you can just let everything process and then you pick it up one more time to finish it off. And that's exactly what I did there. Much too good. Before we had some Pinot Grigio that paired well with the figs and now we have a nice Chardonnay that actually is going well with the duck. Now it's time to keep moving to our next stop and I really like how we're just on a quick like stop in each restaurant like 10-15 minutes we try something have a little wine and then move along. This one we had a Chardonnay and it was absolutely amazing it paired well with the duck so everything is paired well. Before we started they asked us which drink we prefer so between like bourbon and vodka and stuff like that I decided to pick the bourbon they didn't have beer as an option so bourbon is my next best thing so I'm excited to see what we're gonna come up with next I believe our next stop is actually a food truck outside and it's not your regular food truck like this is some really delicious food they say oh I'm coming <laughs> oh there we go thank you that's what I'm talking about <laughs> I like it so we went from some nice wine pairings to a Bonnet Creek exclusive IPA, a Bonnet Creek brew. And I'm excited, it comes in a nice little Bonnet Creek can and a little cozy. And the Peru theme at the Vibe Kitchen food truck is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to dive into the food. I'm gonna show you guys a preview of it. And this is turning into such a fun evening and event. And I'll give you, I'll list all the details. So if you actually wanna do this yourself, uh, you can definitely check it out. But I'm having the time of my life actually. And now I get to have a little IPA with it. And it's not too bad, not too hoppy. And now take a look at this. Holy moly, we are getting so much food. Like I was not expecting this much food. First things first, I wanna start with the chicken thighs here. They look so amazing. So we're gonna try this first and then we're gonna actually try the other things. And I believe this is stop three. So we still have another three stops to go. And like I, I'm starting to get full already. These chicken thighs look so, so amazing. I'm gonna just start off and grab the bottom one here. Definitely has a little spice to it, but look at all of that. I mean, honestly, that is probably my favorite thing of the night. You know, oh, you know what, it's tough. It's tough between the chicken thighs and the duck bao bun because the duck bao bun was pretty amazing, but we still have a lot to go and 
I'm also excited about the other items here. We have a nice pressed potato with the colossal crab. So we're gonna have crab again. And I'm actually really fond of the crab so far. So uh, it's gonna be tough to decide which is the favorite thing of the night. I mean, we still have bull and bear, like I said, and that's probably my most anticipated thing to go to. I devoured those chickens. They were so, so good. And the potatoes are also amazing as well. And this is just overall really good. Now, you can actually dine at all these restaurants if you wanted to. You didn't just actually have to do this food tour. You can come check them out. I'm not sure when the food truck is open. Uh, right now, it's actually set for this private event, but it's here all the time and it has a different theme each time. So right now, like I said, it's Parisian food and I'm really liking the vibe out here, especially with the music and everything like that. Look at the can, actually. I didn't notice this before, but of course I just took the koozie off and I put it in my pocket. Put it in my purse, put it in my purse. And look at that, Vacay IPA, and I love it. That is really a festive can, and this is made just for Bonnet Creek itself. Bonnet Creek Brew, very fancy. Now we are back inside. It was getting a little hot out, but we're gonna bounce over to the Waldorf and we're gonna go to our next spot. And this is gonna be a lounge. So we're gonna be looking at maybe some bourbon drinks since I picked that as my secondary drink. And I was a little shocked with the IPA, which you know I love the beer, so I wasn't expecting that. And now we're gonna get a, a fancy little cocktail. Once again, this is my first time experiencing any of this. I've never been at any of these hotels or resorts and I'm really loving it. So we're gonna jump from the Hilton over to the Waldorf Astoria and we're gonna have three different stops over there. We finished the first three here and so far I gotta say, it's definitely a toss up between the chicken thighs as being my favorite and the duck bao bun too because that was really really good and over here we do have bull and bear which has been on my list for a while to try the steak and we'll be back to try the steak but today it's a little preview I did not know that you can actually walk from the Hilton to the Waldorf and it's actually all connected so if you stay at either one of them uh, you can use both like resort amenities and I had no idea I thought there were two separate resorts so I'm learning a lot as we go along and now we're about to just cross over into the Waldorf Astoria they've got like this special walkway and look at that bada boom we're in another resort so it's kind of like the beach and yacht club and this whole entire thing is a part of uh, the experience or the dining progressive dining event so you actually get a tour guide that takes you throughout the whole entire resort stopping at all the different restaurants and lounges and it is so much fun wow look at it in here it is really really pretty our next stop is gonna be a lounge area. Right here, it's called Sir Henry's, and it's gonna be a break in between eating because, like I said, you're getting a lot of food for this. Like, it's not just small samples. I thought we were gonna be looking at small samples, but it's like full entrees. I couldn't finish everything at the last stop, and now we still have, like I said, two more to go. We have bone bear, and then we have some desserts planned for later, and now a little mid-afternoon, or not even mid-evening cocktail so I'm excited just take a look at this room in here though it's so beautiful I could hang out here for hours probably <laughs> Got a bourbon over here? <laughs> a bourbon? Bourbon over here? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Three bourbons. Three bourbons walk into a bar. Three. They never walk out. They never walk out. One of the things I noticed is all the nice furniture in this room. So I think I'm gonna sit down and drink my drink a little bit and try to act fancy, especially in these chairs. Look at the chairs. They look so nice. 
since I decided on being a bourbon guy, I ended up getting the Lost in the Fog, which I like the name of it. I haven't tried it yet. Like I said, I kind of want to sit down and get comfortable, but it looks so good. And watching them prepare it, like this is a very nice mixology spot. Like they do such good job. And I don't know if this is normally open, the bar itself here. I think this is actually for special events and this is included in the tour. And like I said, I just like being in here. So here we go, cheers to Lost in the Fog. And then we're gonna move along to uh, Bowling Bear. Oh wow, that is so good. <laughs> like I said, if it's not beer, I do love me some bourbon and this is right up my alley. And it's so cool, like I, I'm just shocked at being in these spots. Like trying all the food and drinks is fun, but being in this room, I kind of feel like James Bond. Like. That's how I feel. Long story short, like 500 year old story short, chartreuse is made by a sect of monks by the French Alps. Two people in the world know how to make this. It's made with over 125 botanicals. Nothing in the world tastes quite like this. What we've done is basically set up kind of a cold brew system with some lightly roasted espresso, compliments of La Cologne in Philadelphia along with this green chartreuse. This looks so, you know, so amazing. This is going to be intensely flavored, um, but I think it's something that is absolutely beautiful, and I am very excited to see what you both think of this. And he said we're the first ones in the world In the world to try it. Wow. That is amazing. Only two people in the world can actually make this drink that we're about to try. Are you excited for this? I'm very excited. Cheers to Kenneth right here, my friend. Cheers to me. <laughs> This is starting to be such an eventful evening here. Holy moly. What is that? This is like God's gift to coffee. This is a recipe that Napoleon's wife Oh my lord. Who's about one of the things Okay, I'm sorry guys, but it has to happen right now because like I feel so happy. Like it was like so, it, it, it's an out of this world experience right now. So. Cheers again. You know the bartender. We'll make it happen. This actually took two days to brew this amount right down here. It's still brewing as we speak. And I can tell you right now, it's probably the greatest drinking experience I think I've ever had. Thank you very much. Oh, drinking something like that was so amazing. I don't think I've ever had an experience like that before. Just that little bit of amount that they had in that bottle took two days to brew. And only two people in the world know how to make that drink like that alcohol and I think that is so special they are gonna be adding that to the menu and it's actually gonna be a specialty drink and I think I'm gonna come back just to try the full drink version so we're just drinking a little sample of it and like I said it's like a rush and a feel like I got all tingles all over the place so what an amazing experience now it's time we move along it's time to head to Bowling Bear thank you again such an amazing experience Oh, we'll be back. I will be back. <laughs> Hanging out inside that lounge was so fun. And I learned so much. What a mixology experience. And now we're about to head into Bowling Bear. And this is probably my most anticipated restaurant. I think I said that before. I definitely plan on coming back and doing a full dining review. So this is just a teaser. And you have to like book this restaurant three months in advance just to be able to dine there. So. I'm excited that we're gonna be able to sample it and I'm excited to come back and do like a full dining review like I said. So this is, it, I, I'm, just, I'm just overly excited. Here it is, BB Bull and Bear. <laughs> oh wow, hi friends, thank you. Wow, look at it in here. Bring in your glass, Jeremy Nickel Cabernet Sauvignon. So this is really exciting because this is a very small production uh, Cabernet from Napa Valley, but more specifically from Atlas Peak. So it's high elevation, mountain fruit, super concentrated, like red, bright fruit characteristics, but it's a little dusty, a little bit earthy. But we thought that the tannins and structures and body of this would go perfectly well with the food that the chef is about to bring out. And we thought that the fruit aspect of this would complement the meat aspect of his dish uh, and the carrots that accompany that. So we're really excited for you to try this, but more importantly, we're excited for you to try this along with the food component. So we're gonna bring that out in just a second as they clear the, the chargers for you, and we'd really love to hear your feedback.
Hey. Now we are actually sitting down in Bow and Bear. We have a nice Cabernet to go with the Wellington. And I'm super excited because this is something I've never actually had before. I have tried a Wellington before, but it was at Food and Wine Festival, I think in the American Pavilion. It actually might not have been Food and Wine. I think it might have been the Flower and Garden Festival. We're gonna cut into this bad boy. But, oh wow, look at that. That is so good. Hold on, here we go. They did like a by trainer. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my lord. I'm trying to cut right through, but wow. So, so amazing looking. Look at that crispy, buttery crust right there. I'm so excited. I said it perfectly. Did you see that? Crispy, buttery crust. Proud of you. No, buttery flaky. Buttery flaky crust. This is so, so good. And now we gotta kind of swizzle around and get all the sauces in there. And I can't wait to try those carrots. They look so, so amazing. I guess it's fair to say the short rib Wellington is probably my favorite so far on the adventure. And then the chicken thighs and then the duck ball bun. Like that was really, really good. This is so good. I almost just kind of want to just like savor every single bite. And I'm trying to get as much as I could of the sauce, like mix it all together. But wow, the short rib in there is like the perfect tenderness, it's so much flavor. And the Wellington, like, is such a buttery, flaky crust, like I said, perfect up my alley. Now that we've completely demolished the Wellington, it's time for a little dessert wine. And I like how we've actually tried so many different types of wine and also our delicious bourbon drinks. So you basically get a drink and then a sampling of food at each stop except for the last one even though we did have our coffee and that was probably one of the best experiences ever oh boy look at this dessert has arrived the lychee and the raspberry so i think it's nice lychee is not very often we eating lychee rose water is the middle east flavor and this combination is coming from iran and it's very popular on all the pastries they're doing over there. So I just decided to create a dessert with all the Wow, there's no noise, but I can see it. It's very quiet in here. Yes, I can oh. see that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, it's time to try the dessert. Now, like I said, the Wellington is probably my favorite thing of the night, but a lot of people have been saying the dessert actually tops the Wellington, so I'm excited. I mean, it looks really, really good, and the way that they described it makes it seem like it's gonna be just like heaven. Seriously, it's hard to actually say the Wellington is the best of the night because this is so good. I don't even know what I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm eating, but I like it all. Like, that's like the coolest thing. We're gonna add a little bit onto here, and we're just gonna scoop it right in there. And wow, so, so amazing. Seriously, this hits like on another level, and I'm not even sure how to describe it other than delicious. It's like, <laughs> this is impressive. And here is our last stop, right here at Bull and Bear. Oh yeah, look at this. All the good stuff. Thank you. <laughs> wow. And with that, I think we are done here. What an amazing, fun event. I mean, honestly, I probably would have never ordered a lot of this food uh, if I just came to a restaurant but being here on a progressive dining experience it actually opened up my palate and it made me be a little bit more adventurous and 
there's a lot of things that I actually like that I didn't think I would like. I totally think it's worth it. The amount of food and drink that you actually get is well worth the price of the uh, dining experience. And uh, yeah, I mean, I would do this again. And I hope to actually come back and do Bull and Bear. Bull and Bear was really really amazing the wellington the dessert the wine selections and i'm not even a big wine guy i enjoyed everything so look forward to that video in the future and uh if you want any more information i'll put all the information that you need in the description of this video and thank you to bonnet creek for inviting me out so i can show you guys because like i said this is this is really an amazing experience so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye